with a left hook. It, it was short, but it was that's what exactly what he was looking for. And now a little more steam on that jab from Kovalev. Good jab there by Canelo. He's backing up the bigger man, but the attitude of Canelo, at least in the first round and a half, is that I've got to land the big shot. I don't know that I'm necessarily looking to pile up points. Kovalev is the one to meet early on piling up points. Good combination by Canelo. Again, body and then head. Throwing that winging right hand. He is taking his time. But you feel that Canelo must have in his mind somewhere that I can bust this guy up. It sure looks that way. He's coming up short right now. He's trying to close the distance, but Kovalev showing a lot of discipline. This is a game plan. Just touch him, back it up. You'll get your big shots later in the fight. When do you think he should unleash a serious right hand? Sir? Right now, I think Canelo was way too sharp looking to counter. There you go. See, those are the counters that Kovalev must fear. Right now, just keep touching your man. Do not let Canelo get off with the explosion and speed. That was a vivid illustration right there as Kovalev threw that right hand harder in for the kill. However, it's not as if he is ripping him with shots. He's showing a lot of menace. I don't know how effective he is being as of yet. You can sense it, but Sergio, it hasn't happened yet. No, not yet, but the keys to victory, I thought were gonna be just exactly what Kovalev is doing right now. If he can get three rounds out of the first six, I think he's gonna be in a good position in the second half of the fight. Final 40 seconds of the seventh round. And Canelo, you have to give him credit for this. He is able to adapt his fight plan fight by fight. He looks like a very different fighter than we saw against Daniel Jacobs last time out. No, well then again, you're not fighting an athletic, uh, uh, fast-footed fighter like uh, Daniel Jacobs. Kovalev is more of a heavy foot fighter. Heavy hands with heavy feet. Canelo inching closer. Trying to mix it up a little bit now. Right hand answer by Kovalev. Maybe not quite the right hand that put Andre Ward down, but it still landed cleanly and is a clean scoring shot. Here comes Canelo. Landed that hook. Kovalev answers with his jab. Kovalev followed his strategy and, and his game plan just like he wanted to, but he hasn't really landed something that gets the respect of Canelo. Like, he's a crushing puncher, but he hasn't really developed into the crushing puncher because he, Canelo's not giving him that opportunity with the counters. And you see the landed punches, it's about even. There's a hook from Kovalev. However, not all punches are created equally. With a fighter like Canelo, Sergio, I'm always waiting for fifth gear. I think I'm still waiting for fourth gear. Canelo, Canelo's not right even hand. having to move his head because Kovalev's not even committing to the There it is. Kovalev's hurt. Kovalev's down. Kovalev's out. It's over. That fast. There's fifth gear. Canelo is the light heavyweight champion of the world. Canelo asking the fans to wait till Kovalev gets up doing the classy, respectful thing as he always is. Referee Russell Moldau steps in, puts a hog to the bout. Your winner by KO victory. And now.